All right, so let's go ahead and put the Falcon 2 Pro together. And yeah, after you find all your parts and check, make sure you have everything. We're gonna go here to the assembly. And on the first part, we can see we're gonna grab these two parts. And then also the centerpiece here, and that's gonna be the one with the camera, this guy here. So be very careful as there's connections. You wanna make sure that you assemble it correctly. So they show you here which side goes where and which way the camera points. But you know, it all should line up. So let's go ahead and do that. So. Here we can see on the channels there's a labeling and the grooves are going to go on the inside as that's where our door is going to roll. So the one that says light on out of is going to be the one that goes on this side to the right and the one that says fan is going to go on this side. The camera module is going to face down and our port, the USB-C port, is going to go this way. On the channel itself you can kind of see how it's going to line up just like that. But yeah, you can't really put it any other way. So we are going to need hardware. Lots of little bolts. Go ahead and put the key there. So I believe that these are the little bolts that we'll be using. So we're gonna grab the correct wrench with the bolt and we're basically going to put this together. So yeah, nothing too complicated here. Snug them up and this piece here is together. So now we just need to line up the other end. Pretty simple, everything lines up. Grab two more little bolts, tighten them up and we are done with the first part, which should look something like this. And so in the next part, actually, they want us to flip it back around and slide the film, the protective red backing through the back of it into track one, be the one that's closer on the inside. So this is the front, that's the back. So because we need to slide it through the back, let's just do this. And so the track one is the inner one, and this is the protective film they're talking about. And so we're simply just gonna insert it to the track that's closer on the inside, and it should just slide right in. Actually guys, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and peel this as it looks much nicer. So this might be a little tricky as it's kind of flexible, but you kind of have to just slowly massage it in there. Kind of help it turn through the corner. With a little patience here, it's going through. And maybe guys, I can show you here. Yeah, and getting in this groove is not too easy either. Yeah, a little finicky. It seems like there could have been maybe a better way as this definitely is not so fun. All right, so I finally massaged it into here. So now we have to kind of carefully put this back. But yeah, you guys can see it doesn't want to stay in there. So I guess here they show you how to slide it through. Yeah, it's a lot of pictures of showing you how to do it. So the next part, we're gonna connect a bar there, here, that's gonna hold this other side, which is this thing here. So here also, you gotta, you know, insert it correctly, but it pretty much only goes one way. So again, this is, a little more complex than it should be, it seems like. So I'm gonna to try to put it on as I'm going down also, so. There we go. I think we're in. Feels good. So I don't wanna move it too much, but maybe you guys can see it's definitely on. Now we just gotta put two little bolts on each side here to lock it in. And it's probably gonna be the same ones here. So we need to line it up and lock it in. So yeah, it is a little bit of, I don't know how to call it, I guess, nuance here with the film it's not that it's hard it's just finicky but once we get it it's perfect and looks really good and yeah i'm glad i took off that film because it definitely looks nice and maybe you guys can see what it looks like there on that trim there so yeah making some progress so for step two we'll be installing this piece here which also has the protective coatings. And this one actually is going to go in the second track for the other side. And so the reason it goes on the second track is it can open all the way through on top of the other one. And this one shouldn't be as hard as it has all of its pieces. We just need to feed it in there. That's gonna go here from the front. So now instead of going on the inside, we're gonna go on the outside. So it's gonna go like this, where this little handle lip, you can grab it and pull it up, just like that. And you guys can see it slides in there real easy. But I think I want to go ahead and see if we can pull off all of this protective layers. Okay, so it is possible. It's not coming out that nicely though because it's kind of pinched in there. Oh, so far so good. No, it's, it is pinched. I guess if you leave it on it's fine, but if you want to take it off, you might have to clean it up a bit. But mine's coming off okay so far. But yeah, I don't understand why they do this to be honest. Just wrap them afterwards where we want to deal with this but not the end of the world as so far coming out pretty clean all right so we got everything off it looks really nice got some fingerprints but we'll wipe it down so yeah again the handle goes out or the part that sticks out and you can kind of see with the little bolts they go on the inside of the frame so so yeah we're going to use the outside i'm just going to go straight right in pull it through as our second part goes in 
and then our glass part there also slide in so now it can go actually all the way through to the back side there so actually not too bad and so on the other end we're going to install this other piece which has the leds and so with this one here we can see a little fuzzy material where it sits on that's actually going to go upside down there's actually another fuzzy thing on this side yeah it's literally just going to sit in there just like that so you can't really go any other way and we have the last four bolts that we need to install two on each side so yeah guys so far not too bad actually pretty straightforward I would say and we are pretty much done with the lid and you guys can see how it works here just like that so all right so now that we're done with our upper portion the lid we're gonna go to the base and install some of the things in there which we can see the floor which are all these pieces here and also the tray that slides underneath and actually on the next page they want us to install the laser module itself and then we get to <laughs> the floor eventually so let's grab our module and if we look right here this is where our laser will actually sit in so it just slides in like a rail just like that so I'm just gonna level it here with the top and we should flip this around a bit so here we have the exit which is the power wire and that's gonna go right here we also have this air tube that comes from the front there into this splitter and then these little brackets here that hold it from moving around so we're gonna release those and install that right here and just like that and then this wire will go where the hose was clamped. There's a couple of Velcros and we want to keep that on that side. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. And we're going to route the cable in the clips here. Now we can Velcro the other two together. Kind of like that. So now they're traveling together as it moves around. So, All right, so that looks pretty good. And we can see here the steps. And then here we can go ahead and install a floor. So there's quite a few of these the sharper thinner part goes up and the more rounded off thicker part goes down if you guys see all these grooves hopefully you can see but yeah you just set them in there into the grooves and there's quite a few of them so it is a little bit time consuming that's how these go together so i'm just going to go ahead and install all of them maybe you guys can see in this angle here but yeah we're just putting them into the grooves of the teeth there and you do have to come in into an angle so you kind of go down in there like this and then you turn it and drop it in and actually guys they don't even go through the whole way they just actually go into this little section here there's a little bit of a difference so these two I put too far this way and they need to go on that side but yeah that's how they go so yeah there's definitely less of them than I thought and also they do go in the little section right here let's go ahead and see if we can put this tray in it's quite large so there are little wheels and it's going to slide in there so now we got like a whole floor underneath and it's a tray that you can slide out and clean up whatnot else and then put it back in all right so we're making pretty good progress next we're going to go back to our lid or the top portion and we're going to finish installing that so it's going to go on top and then we're going to install the sides where the fan is and also the other side so so it should just set right on top so it kind of has to line up and click into its space the piece that has nothing on it will go on this side just like that so there's just a lot of little bolts that go around and i'm going to go ahead and take the protector off of this too as it does look much nicer without it so only thing to consider is there's a little cutout right here a little square box and that goes for the switch on the side so make sure you put that over that and this other pack of the little bolts is what we need to install it there's also a USB port here that lines up so yeah so far not too bad there is a little bit of assembly here so with these you don't want to tighten them up too hard just a little snug and that should be good all right so now we're on the other side and I got the piece here but before we do that if you guys can see this plug it plugs in right under here it's kind of hard to see but plug that in and I think it's for the light which is right here this white piece on the inside so we have the fan here and this section here goes on the inside like this and there's also a wire here that we'll have to plug in and there's a protective layer here too and they put the fan right on top of it so what i did is i got a knife and kind of cut around it if you want to you can take the fan off and then peel it and then put it back so far so good seemed to work pretty well actually i guess i didn't do a perfect cut but still pretty good 
and we'll peel the other side. All right, so wire on the inside, the exhaust port on the outside. Make sure the switch goes in here. This one's a little more obvious as the exhaust port is towards the back. And now we're just gonna put the little bolts all around. So again, when you're doing this, make sure you're sitting flat because if it's not completely flat, it might not line up really good. All right, so that's done. It's nice and solid. And we can see on the instructions, we plugged in that main plug. There is a picture here of showing some other plug. I think maybe that's from the fan and goes to the next step, which is the pipe, then the air pump, and then we got connect the power supply. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as assembly is concerned. So we just gotta figure out where to connect that fan. Yeah, let's go ahead and open this door. So it does go pretty far, almost pretty much halfway, and we got a really good opening. All right, so looking around, it's a little hard to see, but the fan cable just kind of travels here. There's a groove in there. Maybe we can install it in there. It's actually pretty nice. So hopefully you guys can see, but I'm just installing it into a groove of the channel. And the little plug where it plugs in is actually right here. So there's a switch here, and it's right behind here. Maybe you guys can see, just like that. So yeah, it looks like it does go into that groove beautifully and goes up here to the fan. So for the air pump, it's pretty straightforward, and this is where we have that connection. So we have a little adjuster here, the electrical connection, and then the air hose connection. So it's quite simple. We just got the standalone compressor here. It's actually branded Creality, which is kind of cool. So depending where this thing's gonna be, which it can't be too far away, it'll probably sit somewhere beside it. I guess if you had a longer hose, you could put it somewhere farther away. The cable can be longer, but it doesn't need to be, so I'm just gonna leave it coiled like that. But yeah, it's gonna plug here, but before I do that, let's go ahead and plug the hose below that. Simply just slides over, just like that. And then the other part is gonna go right here on top. There's a little cover that we need to take off. And then we're gonna install the hose here, slide it on. We're gonna plug it so it only goes one way. Make sure you line it up correctly and plug it in and that's it. That's basically our whole air system here. And this thing has really squishy, jiggly feet so it should not make much noise when it's in use. But yeah, that's pretty much the assembly.